We believe that 50% of all retail this year is going to be influenced somehow by a mobile device, whether that's looking up an address or a phone number, geolocating a store, or actually transacting a sale. 50%, one out of every two retail transactions is going to be affected by a mobile device. But mobile's just the beginning. Mobile isn't exactly the most immersive experience either, and so we're closely watching technologies like this, like virtual reality, uh, which could very well be the future of how we shop online. Now, how many of you have tried virtual reality? How many of you have tried the headset? Yeah? Uh, keep your hand up if you were really, really super impressed by it. Yeah, not so much, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of you probably just felt a little nauseous and it wasn't that great and it looked sort of like an animated uh, cartoon kind of thing. And, and granted, the technology is very, very new. It's very young. One company I'm watching, though, really closely right now is a company called Magic Leap, which is located in Florida, which is weird to begin with that a tech company is located in Florida and not in Silicon Valley. But their technology is also really different because they have virtual reality technology that doesn't use a device as the processor. It uses your eyes and your brain as the processor. It basically projects images through your eyes into your cerebral cortex and your brain doesn't know if what it's seeing is real or virtual. They did a demonstration recently for a group of high school students in Florida and this is what it looked like. Okay, so a freaking whale came out of the floor, right? I mean, I don't know what you saw, but that's what I saw. So I've talked to people that have actually used this technology, and they say you can't distinguish between what is real. If you put your hand up in front of your face, you don't know if it's real or if it's virtual. It tricks your brain in many different ways. And so these technologies are also going to become more tactile. We know that right now, a lot of startups are now working on uh, a field of, of study called haptics, where they're actually allowing people to reach into the virtual world and touch the things that they're seeing there and actually feel the texture of those things and, in fact, feel the weight of those things as well uh, through different devices like haptic gloves. But the experts that I talked to as well in this field when I was writing the book said, look, if all we do is use this technology to replicate a conventional store, and be able to walk into a conventional store in the virtual world, then we've missed the point entirely. Virtual reality will give us the ability to change the definition of an online store. That, how many of you are Drake fans? Any Drake fans in the audience? A few of you, yeah? So, uh, if instead of buying the new Drake album on iTunes, you may be able to virtually go into the studio with Drake, hang out with him, talk to him about the backstory of the tracks and how he mixed them, and, and, and that's how that buying experience might look. You might be able to shoe shop by going into Christina Aguilera's shoe closet and looking at her collection and deciding which of those shoes you want while you sort of hang out with her. Or maybe you want to cook in the kitchen with Jamie Oliver and he can talk to you about the ingredients he's using and the cookware he's using, and that becomes the online shopping experience. So virtual reality is going to give us the ability to change the definition of what a store is entirely.